What is up everybody and welcome back to Godspeed ZRZ. Now, as many of you know, we've actually still got the rock sliders sitting over there on top of the dryer and I've been meaning to cut them down. That way we can get them back on this Rubicon 392. So today it's pretty nasty outside. So the weather's not really gonna permit what I really wanted to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get a few things done that I've needed to do for a while. So as many of you know from the last trip, I actually got some damage on the bottom of my Jeep there where the rock sliders were supposed to go. And ever since then, one of my top priorities has been to get the rock sliders cut down and mount them back up. But with the tools I have here, I tried to use a cutoff disc and it didn't work very well. And then I also wanted to use my angle grinder and change the disc on it. I lost the tool to change out the disc for it. So today I'm gonna actually take these to my exhaust shop and see if they can just cut everything down for me. And we also might come up with a new exhaust while we're there. Usually we come up with some idea and we just end up doing it. So hang tight, we'll load it up and we'll head out that way. All right guys, so we already got the rock sliders cut down and I got them back to the house and they should mount up just perfectly. I did have to go somewhere else real quick so I had to change, but we're back at the exhaust shop and we're gonna try another variation of that exhaust to see if we can get it just right. So if you've watched the channel or you followed it before, you know we've done so many different exhaust variations on that 392. What we're gonna try this time is right past the catalytic converters where the mid pipe actually mounts up to the pipes that are connected to the catalytic converters you got an X pop right there before the rear axle. So what we're gonna do is cut the rest of the pop off that goes over the axle and dumps out behind it and just do a do two dumps right there off the X pop right before the rear axle and we're gonna see if that gets us the sound we want. It'll be a little farther back than where we had dumped it at previously and it'll be obviously closer than having it exit out the rear like it does now, but the X pop should still keep the noise uh, at least a little bit more bearable since it is gonna be dumping right under the cab of the vehicle. So we'll see how that goes and I'll let you guys hear it as soon as we get done. So we're back at the house and I wanted to give you guys a peek at this exhaust and the way that it's actually set up. So you can see here, we've got our pipes coming down from the catalytic converter right there and they come across. Obviously right here, we've got our X pop and we actually went past the X pop and did the dump right here before the rear axle. And with this, it does sound good. It sounds really good. Pretty close to how it sounded before to be honest. Um, but it's right under me, so I get to hear the pops and cracks a little bit more. Not any more drone than what it was before either. 
he was actually able to uh, raise the hanger a bit too. That way we don't have any of the exhaust actually touching the cross member right there. So that's helped quite a bit as well. But I just wanted to give you guys a peek at exhaust number, shoot, I don't even know anymore. But I do know at this point, we've probably spent enough on exhaust to be able to buy a full titanium exhaust for it. But I have had a lot of fun testing out all the different variations of exhaust and hopefully you guys can go back and see my other videos and see exactly which one will work best for you. Now for the rock sliders, we do have them cut down as well. You guys can see here and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe them down and we'll go ahead and bolt them back up and make sure we have the right clearance that we need or see if we need to cut just a little bit more. I did mark them before I took them so hopefully everything should match up just perfectly. And just like that guys we've got the rock sliders all snugged up and you can see the clearance here pretty darn good I do need to go around and paint the rest of it just so nothing rust but you can see it's about an inch at least half an inch behind where the actual body line ends so it should give us plenty of clearance now and then for the rear just right so it should give us plenty of room to move around and we shouldn't run into any issues with these rock sliders from now on but let me know what you guys think about the look of the rock sliders versus not having the rock sliders. I definitely like it. It definitely adds an, a different element to the Jeep. Just it makes it look a little bit more rugged. And whenever you do have these off, it just looks kind of weird because it, it definitely looks like something is supposed to be there. Like on the sports and stuff like that, you get them without the rock sliders. It definitely always looks like you need something else. And just a shot from the other side. Rock sliders definitely, definitely give it more of a finished look, and I'm really happy with how these have came out. Also, if you guys didn't see the last video, these are the hood latches that we just installed, and they are absolutely wicked. Definitely give it a better look, and you guys won't believe the price, so go watch that last video and check those out. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the actual look of these rock sliders on versus whenever we didn't have them on. I definitely think the look looks a lot better. And obviously, with the clearance, since we cut them down, we shouldn't run into any issues at all. If you haven't, go check out the merch. The link's in the description down below. I've dropped a couple new things, a hat, a long sleeve t-shirt. They're all pretty cool, so go check them out if you want to support the channel. But until next time, guys, just take it easy.